Hello again, this is Ray with Raise Your Game Golf Instruction. And we've come back from our installation of the Ball Flight uh, launch monitor. The last video showed us unpacking it, showing you what was in the box, how it was packed, the items that, uh, the inventory of the items. So now what I've done is I've got it to the point where I've installed everything and I'm ready to check and see if the system is working properly and ready for me to strike a ball. So a couple of things uh, we mentioned before about the ball flight download directions. I did follow these directions, but I missed a step and I was, I called the president of OptiShot and he turned me on to one of his tech support guys. And it's, it's quite a, quite a long instruction process. So you start up here and it takes you to this site on the computer, which is on the uh, help, uh, helpdesk.optishotgolf.com and in this site here there's more than 18 steps and then you have to come back to this card and do the rest of these steps so I missed a critical step and I'll show you that um, as we go through so right now it's set up it's plugged in it's not in the current position that I'm going to be striking balls from it's over here but I'll explain that in a minute all right so Follow the instructions here. You get to the help desk site, you go on it. First thing says, click the link below, install Microsoft Visual Studio X64. Did all that. So you just follow the instruction. It was pretty simple. I thought it was simple. And then all the way down, after you do all these steps, there is step 18 right here. It's a uh, critical step, manually set up IP address. Well, I missed that. So, um, the Ethernet port was not being recognized by the computer or Windows. So the tech support was very helpful. I clicked on these instructions. Um, we followed the instructions that he told me, and then as I can see now, it was exactly what's in here. And had I not missed that step, I probably would have, would have been able to do it myself. Follow those instructions, and then you're back into, inside, inside that step 18, there's 10 more instructions. So go back to the ball flight gray installation steps and continue. So that's uh, what I'm gonna do now. Go back and you got 19, launch the software, make sure ball flight gray is selected this kind of the, so I did, all that's been done. 22 um, basic instructions, basic use instructions. I'm not at that point yet because I just wanna make sure that the, the ball is gonna be recognized by the ball flight launch monitor and that's where we are right now so put this down and we're going to go back out of this close this out or minimize it and then bring up the play orion live icon bring up that uh, icon launch it once i launch it brings up a screen for your Orion Live software. And this is completely different than OptiShot 2. Remember I told you I had the OptiShot 2. This is completely different. I don't remember any of this stuff in OptiShot 2. I don't remember it being as high tech or as many options or as many things to do online. But I'll get to that uh, once I start using the system. So there's a menu up in the upper right hand corner. You're gonna click on that. And the first thing I just wanna do is just see if I, uh, it works. So I'm gonna go play offline, click on that. Now this is a little bit similar to OptiShot 2. It's kind of a setup with the contest practice settings, things like that. A little bit similar setup, but uh, high, more high tech, I think. And I'm gonna hit practice. Now, once I went to that first screen right there, I've already got a green light on my launch monitor, the ball flight launch monitor. That green light indicates that the ball is in the proper target zone for striking. So you could, obviously the cardboard that's on the floor, it's right here, I'll pick that up this back down and I got a green light still so it just tells you it's a guide to show you where the ball should be positioned once you once you don't need it anymore you take it and put it away we'll put that over there next to the case okay so I'm going to come up with the practice range and uh, it'll load up Orion powered by and then you get the, the driving range it, it starts out with a 64 yard shot I'm sure you can change it all around I'm going to learn about that as I go along but for today, it's just about the initial setup. Now, I did mention that it's in the wrong position for me in my sim bay. And the reason it's over there is because it comes with a Ethernet cord supplied. 
and that ethernet cord is not that long and that was another problem I had so um, my computer's up here so the ethernet cord had to run underneath the desk up the back and into the computer it wasn't long enough so just to make sure I wasn't doing anything wrong initially I set it up closer to the machine so I could get it going and make sure it works now that that's done I'm going to put it in the position that it's going to normally be in which is about over here I'm going to switch to a longer ethernet cord and uh, we're going to get all that set up come back later on and uh, strike our first shot with the uh, OptiShot ball flight launch monitor see how that goes all in all I've been doing uh, the, the setup for about an hour and 15 minutes and I think about 20 minutes of that was my own fault for missing that step. So I think it would take about 40 minutes or so uh, to get it all set up and done. And that's my best advice on that. Thanks for listening. We'll be back with our next video to take our first shot with the OptiShot Ball Flight Launch Monitor. Thank you.